What's up guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct here, and today I'm gonna to show you how we install the Humble Rumble Firewall Spot Weld Fix Kit. Installation, they say one to two hours. I'm gonna give myself about four hours here because it's the first time I've ever done this, but this STI here behind me, it's one of the employee's cars, and uh, he was actually gonna order this kit anyway, and so I thought, you know, it's a perfect opportunity to install it, help him out, and see if it fixes it. So basically he complains of a squeaky clutch pedal, pops every once in a while. Uh, he's already got some braces on there to help it, but looks like the failure's already happened. So this is the proper way to fix it quickly, easily, and most importantly, permanently. All right, so first step here, we're gonna remove the windshield wiper arms and then the plastic cowl underneath that and some of the uh, plastic pieces there uh, to expose the wiper motor. Let's go ahead and get that torn off. Yeah, so the, the cowl's pretty easy to remove. You pop the uh, windshield wiper arms off. I think it's a 17 mil or 14 mil, I can't remember. Um, they should come off pretty easy, just be careful when you're pulling them up, uh, just kind of wiggle them. As they come up, they come off pretty easy. The cowl is kind of a pain just because you've got all these like little tiny clips that are, just want to break. And then up along the, basically where the cowl kind of meets the fenders, um, I think I show it in here, but those are hard to take off without uh, breaking the, the little plastic tangs on them. You just be careful, kind of work them out. Probably broke something there. But then the cowl comes right off. And then we're gonna wanna take off the wiper motor assembly. So you just disconnect it a couple 10 mils, I believe. Those are all pretty easy to remove, pretty easy to get access to, which is nice. And then once those are out, the whole thing just comes right out. Nothing tricky there. And clean it. Always makes everything nice. Just have a nice clean work surface. You will have to clean it afterwards. There's a lot of metal savings. Okay, so now we're just marking our holes. Those were the two affected ones. Uh, actually, I'm gonna pause real quick. That's what Humble Rumble uh, recommends uh, doing first is just those two because they're usually what's uh, affected most. So what I recommend is once you get in there, have a buddy help you out. You know, press on the brake pedal, press on the clutch pedal, basically just try to modulate it. You can see here, I did exactly that, um, but you can see how much flex is actually in those. And center punch, use a smaller drill, just a pilot hole. You only want to do one at a time uh, because they do have uh, those rivets are basically, uh, or spot welds are holding in the a bracket there up on the inner firewall. Use the included drill, fish your wire down. Finding it can be a challenge. Again, having a buddy help you out, they can kind of move it in and out for you. It took me about a solid 15 minutes to find that wire. Yeah, and then you just get your bolt ready. Slide your wire through. I kind of bent it up and over, which actually I don't recommend. Oh well, no, that one I kind of bent it just, and I don't recommend, I would go up and over, kind of like fish hook style. And then just pull it up through. And once it's up through, inside your washer and your nut down on it. And then I just kind of, <laughs> it's a dumb shot. I just kind of uh, secured it uh, down, yeah, right there once the washer and nuts are on there. And then that way just kind of keeps everything nice and firm. It gives you, you don't have to sit there and hold tension on the line, right? With that particular one, you do want to make sure it can catch on the carpet or something behind there. So you just want to make sure it sits flush. You'll recognize it once you go to tighten it. Yeah, put some Loctite on it. They do have a torque spec. I don't know how anybody would fit a torque wrench in there, but I just, down a lot. Again, same process. You know, pilot hole, main hole, fish your wire, pull it up, throw it in, and then uh, once you torque them down with the Loctite, I kind of like uh, double check, triple check everything. I used a, I think I ended up using a, a pass through socket set. Basically, need a really thin, thin walled socket or even like an open ended wrench. It's so slow. It's, it looks like there's a lot more room, but there really isn't. It's uh, very tight and cramped. So like trying to apply Loctite cleanly is very difficult. Hey, okay, there you go. And then you smudge all the goo in there. So that's basically for just, you know, preventing the ingress of water, dirt, goo, all that kind of stuff. You don't have holes in your firewall. And so they say like liberal application and um, I probably went a little bit overboard. Uh, I'm sure I spent a little bit more time. You could kind of clean it up and just make it look, yeah, good job. It's like a kindergarten art project. <laughs> I'm like 
trying so hard. I'm like, uh. And clean everything up. Get your wiper assembly back in and bolt that down. I'm sure that has a torque spec. Follow factory torque specs. Click. 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 Torqued. Don't forget to plug it in. That would suck. And then yeah, just repeat, reverse the process. The cowl going back in is way easier as long as you didn't break any clips. And if you wanted to, uh, before you started this install, it'd be a good time if you've got some of those clips that are broken, just order them from Subaru. They're like 69 cents a piece. Or just order like a bunch of random, uh, an assortment pack from Amazon. You get like 500 for nine bucks. But it really did make a big difference. Yeah, wipers go back on. Uh, <clears throat> you can mark them and stuff if you want, but just make sure that, you know, when they go back in, they're kind of mostly in the same position. You don't want them, you know, over sweeping or under sweeping. Put your covers back on. All right, guys, and that's it. We're done. Honestly, it was a lot easier than I was anticipating. I really think the hardest thing is removing the um, wiper cowl without breaking plastic pieces. But we've solved a problem, and this has been something that's been plaguing the 08 through 14s for a long time. And to go from, you know, a 10 to 20 hour install, stripping your dash, welding, you know, doing your own homemade kit or uh, some rivets or something like that, this is so much easier and for an incredible price. So if you guys are interested in this, uh, the link will be down below. And then if you guys want more information on this, of course, you can click the link where I did a, another video just talking about just these um, by themselves, which I'll link to down below as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It is so hot. I apologize about the voiceover. I didn't want it to be like that, but it is so hot in here and I had to have the fan running. Wanted to listen to some music, and just enjoy the install. But I hope you guys did learn something. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down and get out of here. Just show it. Thanks guys. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.